Well, welcome to AirVenture 2023. Here we are at uh, the Kit Fox booth, obviously. And today we've brought three new airplanes that got their airworthiness this year. It's a stellar show for us. They've been uh, it's pretty exciting for us. And we're also running two of the brand new uh, Rotax uh, 916 IS engines, which has been phenomenal. They're performing very well for us. Uh, fuel efficiency performance is just nothing short of remarkable. The 916 came out of the box with a 2,000 hour TBO, which is impressive. 160 horsepower for takeoff. And what we're noticing the differences between the 915 and 916 is it's 20 more horsepower and it's actually running cooler in the same fuel efficiency when you're down low in the cruise altitudes. If you want to burn fuel and get somewhere in a hurry, you can push it up and cruise up in the yellow arc. Uh, you can actually push up into VNE if you really want to. We're also using the MT constant speed prop with it in both the single lever prop control, which is in the airplane that's behind me, and we're also using the magical blue knob that's a propeller control with the MT as well. And both of them we've been real happy with in the performance. Burning about six gallons an hour, depending on whether you're in the Super Sport or whether you're in the STI, you're seeing cruise speeds of you know, 115, 120, pretty consistently, and you can actually get a little faster than that. We've done the phase one flight testing on all three of these airplanes that are out here, and then turned around and brought them all to Oshkosh without a hiccup. One of the things that we have introduced this year is the uh, Kit Fox Cabane V gear, which we've had for a while, and we've revolved over to the Acme Aerofab shock called Black Ops. It's really dynamic for a couple of different reasons. One, it's 100% made in the USA. It's made by veterans, which is a, a novel concept. With a lifetime warranty, they've been absolutely stellar to work with, a very good company. The system itself maintains its ride height, which is really nice. You're not getting sag in the gear legs and displacement with camber caster. It gives a firm grip on the ground when you're doing it, absorbs the energy. It's a nitrogen filled shock, but it also has a safety feature into it. They manufacture their own coil spring that goes inside the shock as a backup system. So in the event that you've lost nitrogen or knocked a Schrader valve off and blew out all the oil and everything else, your ride height probably won't change much and the airplane's still safe to operate for landing and taking off. It is a certified STC shock, which is a huge benefit. We also added the Acme Aerofab Stinger, which is kind of a similar setup for the tailwheel shock. It will fit on all the predecessor airplanes. It is a little bit heavier. We, we were using the T3 suspension spring, which is still an option as well. And there's some more exciting things coming on that venture. Kit Fox Cabane V gear with the Acme Aero Shocks is actually standard on the STI. It's optional on our Super Sports, and it is retrofittable back into the Series 5 and the Series 6 and the Series 7 airplanes. We're in the process of looking at working in development for the Model 4. Uh, we haven't got there yet. It's probably going to be into next year before we get there. Um, the partnership we have with Acme Aerofab, their shocks for our gear and everything else is purchased directly through us. And you can find it on our website and our parts catalog or simply give us a call. Wouldn't it be nice to be accurate all the time? Our generation can trust their fuel gauge, can you? Here at SAIS, we are revolutionizing the world of aviation one aircraft at a time. We are committed to providing an accurate, safe, and reliable fuel level rating, as well as providing you with the highest level of service. Find out how you can fly with SAIS today.